hello my friends and welcome to my channel. I am Jeanette Andromeda and today I am sharing with you my first three days of Inktober. Um, and while that happens, I have a lot of updates to share with you and a lot of things I just want to talk about, so it's kind of a chit-chat and sketch session. There's got to be a cool alliteration for that. Chit-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-
October 12th, 13th, and 14th. I will be attending as press, so I'll be wandering around doing interviews. And then I'm also going to the Deadites concert on the 13th, so if you want to join me, have dinner, oogle some horror stuff with me, like, you're more than welcome to join me, hit me up either in the comments section, Twitter, Instagram, I am all over the place and totally down to hang out and meet up. That information's below if you want to buy tickets, that is also below, and no, I do not get anything from any of the things I'm promoting right now. I literally just want to share. <laughs> So the thing about Rock and Shock is it isn't just a horror convention, it also has concerts going on. So every day there's a convention with um, movie screenings and discussions and panels and a huge, 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 uh, what do you call it? What do you call the thing where you buy the stuff, Alex? At a convention center. Dealer's Den! That's what it is. Thank you, Alexander. <laughs> Um, there's a huge dealer's den with some amazing artists and some amazing podcasts and some amazing horror authors that I love to go visit every time I go to Rock and Shock because this is almost a yearly uh, tradition at this point. And then every evening there is a rock concert happening at the Palladium Theater right around the corner. So it is just a jam-packed extravaganza of horror and Halloween and I love it. So. I'll see you there if you're going to be there, otherwise I will give you a vlog about it in December? I guess it's going to take me that long to edit all these things? Oh my god, that's so terrible, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Second convention I am going to is Furpocalypse, and yes, that is a furry convention that happens in Cromwell, Connecticut. I will be attending that one just for fun. So if you want to meet up, be a furry trash with me, please do. That is October 26th through the 28th. I will be there every single night. I'm very excited. I'm not staying at the hotel because I live close enough that I can drive. But uh, again, hit me up if you want to meet up, have some dinner, do some furry karaoke, whatever. It'll be fun. And yeah, I think we're there. I think we made it. Wow, I don't know why I was so stressed out about all this. I literally was super stressed out because I'm like, how am I going to get all these videos done and I need to edit, but I really want to do it. Oh, that's the other thing. Oh my god, the thing for next week, which I'm super excited about, is Helen, here's her Instagram handle for you. She does some super amazing hyper-realistic artwork that you should totally go check out. But she sent me a secret surprise. It's not such a secret. I know what's in it, but I'm super excited to share the secret with you. Um, for a video that I'm going to do as a challenge for next week. And, uh, here's a hint. It involves one of my favorite movie directors. Can you guess who that might be? In last week's video, which was a speed draw and a story from the Wicked Library podcast, I asked you what your favorite podcasts were. A.F. Stewart commented, A great reading and love the art. As for podcasts, it's not scary, but I love the fantasy fiends. She says they have a guest writer every week, but the topics are more of a fantasy discussion than on writing tips, and they have a reading from the author's book as well. Plus, they go off on tangents all the time, so you never know what will happen. And that sounds like a lot of fun and like something I definitely need to go listen to. I have not had a chance to yet because I have been binging so hard on No Sleep Podcast, TBH. J7 Jessica J7 commented, she listens to All Things Internet by Rachel and Gwen Ballinger, and even more niche, she also listens to the Puppy Podcast, which is by a slightly ditzy dog owner, <laughs> and the Sleep With Me podcast, which is a generic rambling to put you to sleep, and her puppy likes listening to that too at nap time when he's home alone, which I think is super cute. So uh, thank you guys for your comments, and this week I would like to know what fairy tale character do you most connect with? I, I mean, it's pretty obvious, I think, at this point already. Uh, Alice in Wonderland is definitely a fairy tale character that I completely connect with. If we're talking just like Disney characters, she's definitely the one I, I think I connect with. Mostly, I think as a kid, it was just because she was blonde, but also because she, se she just seemed like the weirdest non-princess princess. 
and I loved the weird world she fell into and just, I don't know, I loved everything about that movie and I loved everything about Alice. I loved how dang ditzy she was and like, just, I don't know, she's lovely. Um, as far as like classic fairy tale characters, what's the opposite of Sleeping Beauty? Because I never sleep. <laughs> Answer me that. This is a terrible question. <laughs> but that's the question I'm leaving you with. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye!